Every once in a while when you've got a sketch file, whether you're bringing it into Envision Studio or bringing it into After Effects or another application to animate for that matter, you may run into situations where layers don't come over quite right. You may have complex situations that aren't supported by the destination application that you're doing the animation in. So we've got to cut some corners, kind of. And I do recommend doing this with a separate file or at the very least making another copy of the artboard that you're going to have to make edits to in order to to be able to animate successfully. So let's just say, for example, I've made the second copy of this artboard, and let's say that we want this card area just to be one solid flat image. Let's say we don't plan on making any edits to it, we just want to animate it, have it slide up and down, and we want it to be one flat raster layer. Now, typically, someone would export this as an asset and then import it back in. Uh, But you don't quite have to do all that. There's this nifty little trick where if you do make a layer exportable, and let's say that I want it to be full super retina resolution, so I'm going to make it a 3x sized asset, and uh, I'm going to add to the file name at 3x, and there's a reason for this, and uh, now I can just drag it in to my document. I can just drag it onto the page. You'll notice when I do that from the thumbnail, it's called bitmap on the layers list. And the fact that it's called bitmap doesn't do us any favors. One, because we lost the group name and we need the group name. It's going to be helpful later when we're doing our animating. And two, it's huge. You'll notice the 3x asset came in at 3x size on the canvas, which is lame. That's not what we want. So let's go back a step. I'm going to go back here where I had just typed in 3x for my size, and I had just typed in at 3x for my suffix. Now the trick is, if you come over to the layers list, and you hold the option key on the keyboard, and then drag the layer onto the canvas, it will come over as the same PNG that it was going to export, but it gets the name right. And because it gets the name right, which includes at 3x at the end of the name, the name actually tells Sketch that this asset should be the normal size at three times the quality, at three times the pixel density. If it didn't have at 3x in the file name, it would come in at three times the size, which is what happened the first time, because that file was just called bitmap, and that kind of messed everything up, right? So now I can just delete this, and I can move this down into place, and I'm ready to rock and roll. I've got one solid flat image, and again, I made a copy so that I could have my original editable copy uh, up here, and uh, I can have my flattened copy down here. But again, you probably want to do this in a whole separate file. You'd probably want to have your sketch file that's like prepared for animation, right? And then you have your original sketch file that's your working file in Sketch. Uh, But this is only in case of emergency. You don't want to be flattening stuff unless you have to. But if you do have to, that's the weird nifty trick. You add at 3x to the end of the file name if it's a 3x asset. You add at 2x to the end of the file name if it's a 2x asset. And then you hold the option key and drag the layer onto the canvas to get that flattened PNG version of the graphic. So now when you bring it over, because this is just an image, nothing can possibly be open to interpretation and get messed up when you bring it into another application like Envision Studio to animate it.